Good afternoon, Roddy Foodie fam. We have you at KF Sizzle. We got, you know what? I've never actually tried these popcorn chickens. We got some papa fritas. I saw this in the big box and I thought it was mac and cheese. I got so excited. I was like, maybe they messed up, but no, it's coleslaw. We'll try it out. I'm not a big coleslaw fan. Chicken sandwich. Dang. They put a pound of mayo on there. I love these big boxes here. Also, we got a little sip sip, guys. This was supposed to be the new chicken sandwich that KFC just came out, but I guess my KFC doesn't have it yet. Here's my KFC right here. Yeah, beep -bitty boop Guys, what a beautiful day in Rhode Island today, man. Happy Friday! Speaking of Friday. So, I went to KF Sizzle. His finger looking good. I don't think that this is the new chicken sandwich, though. Look at this. I mean, it's got, it looks like their chicken sandwich, but I didn't see any signs of their new, bigger uh, chicken sandwich. So this review might be kind of a, a bamboozle review. I don't know what we should call it. We might not even call it a review. This might just be a regular mukbang, guys, a regular KFC mukbang, because again, I don't think that they, they have it in my area yet. It might be in certain areas, but, if I do see it come back, guys, I'll order it again. But in the meantime, I saw this big box that had some popcorn chicken. I never had it here. But let's just get some biting. Let's be quiet. One minute ASMR. Down the hatch. All right. And before we get, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so dark in the video, guys. Sorry, it's super sunny day. Oh my God, it's so dark. There we go. Before we get in uh, any further, let me give you guys a little puppy break. Loop, what's a puppy break? That's where I'm gonna start sprinkling in newborn puppies that I'm fostering into our videos. <laughs> Instead of doing like a montage type of thing. But I will, I'll still show Eden as well because Eden's the officially the one that we're actually fostering. But here's your, uh, here's today's puppy break. How freaking cute are they? Little nuggets. Uh, right, didn't one of them look like this? <laughs> little cutie little nug. So cute. Okay. They put a lot of mayo. I love mayo guys, but they put like mayo mayo. I, I kind of have to cut into that mayo with some of this KF sizzle. Theoretically speaking, the new KFC chicken sandwiches are supposed to have, they're supposed to be double breaded. They are supposed to be 20% more meat Supposed to come on a brioche bun. And you can get it with mayo and pickles or with the zesty sauce. That's what I read. That's what I was about to order. I didn't see it there. It was super busy. I didn't really, 
I feel bad. Like, you know, it's lunchtime. What is it, like around one o'clock? I didn't want to have a conversation with the guy with so many freaking cars behind me. One guy wanted to kill me. Because as I was leaving, I guess it wasn't enough turn for him. By the way, he took the widest turn ever. Like he was a freaking 18 wheeler to get into the KFC. He's like, I'm going that way. I'm like, yeah, I'm going that way. I'm a softie though. I backed up, limbed up. Oh man. Guys, how about that freaking sandwich from yesterday though, right? From Shake Shack. Oh! Beepity bop! All right, let's go down the hatch. This might be just more of an ASMR -y video, guys. Oh man, puppy update. Ask me for how much, <laughs> ask me how much sleep I got last night. Oh my God. Mm. It's still good though. You guys ready for this? Exclusive. You're gonna wanna take a second to save this video. Cause you'll probably only see this once or twice moving forward ever. Coleslaw. Question of the day, guys, down below. Are you team coleslaw, team no way Jose coleslaw? I just, I couldn't. When we used to have our, our sandwich shop, I used to have an employee, Angelica, who grew up, her dad owned a restaurant, so she grew up, you know, catering events and, and being in the kitchen. She went to Johnson & Wales, which a lot of folks who don't know, Johnson & Wales is a huge culinary university that we have in Rhode Island that just pumps out chefs. She made really good coleslaw. Well, she she made, everyone else said it was amazing. To me, it was edible. And that's coming from someone that didn't like coleslaw. So, I, I already don't like it. But I do this for my foodie fam. For all my team coleslaw people out there, I'll do it for you. I'm about to cheat and have a have a couple of nuggets on the ready, pre-dipped. You better believe it. All right, here we go. Don't match. Is coleslaw even good for you guys? It feels like they look like they drench it in something. <coughs> Here's the thing. <coughs> Here's the thing about coleslaw is I don't like it by itself. I probably like it, like if I was put to some some in uh, in um, this sandwich, right, with some sauce, maybe a couple of papa fritas, make it into a nice deluxe type of burger, or sandy rather, I'd probably like it. And I, li and I like cabbage, I like carrots. What else is in there, celery? I love celery, especially with some hot wings. And it's not bad, right? So this is what we'll do. We'll do the money bite. Here we go. We'll get the money bite out of the way here. Stack it up, baby. All right, check this out. Coleslaw, right on top. Here we go. Some dip dip, naturally. If I didn't use it all up. 
You guys ever had like chicken sandwiches that have the coleslaw in it? Here we go. Down the hatch. I'll probably like it here. Here we go. See, to me, now it's adding to something. It's not just coleslaw, right? Mm. I might do that again. All right, fam, we're going to do a money shot sandwich here. Money shot. Money bite. Money bite sandwich. This sauce. Maybe they should put their KFC sauce inside of their situation, coleslaw. All right, that's where dreams are made of. Here we go. Oh, family, familia. I'll even put a couple little extra on top. All right, guys, down the hatch. We'll give you another little mini ASMR right here. I'll break my arm to show you. Beep the boop. Happy Friday. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> you guys have seen me do this in videos all the time. Where sometimes all I have to do is mix some ingredients. You guys remember when I had the chili con queso with the mac and cheese from one of the steakhouses? And they sucked separately. But together... All right, now that's a meal, baby. And another trick too, guys, is if you have mac and cheese from a place that you really don't like the mac and cheese that well, pro tip, throw a little buffalo sauce on there. Buffalo mac and chisel. You just made a buffalo mac and cheese baby out of those two. You're welcome, pro tip. Um, also, uh, I wanna give you guys another little quick little montage of Eden. Took her out today, and then also of the puppies from last night. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this right here also. Oh. <laughs> Get down. You want to say hi to everybody on YouTube? Huh? Or you just want the pepperoni? You just want the pepperoni. Good girl. I don't think put some weight on you, huh? You want to say everybody? Oh. I'm trying to get back to the puppies already. Get it, come on. It's pepperoni time in the city. Ready, foodie fam? Yes, come here. Good girl. She's doing really good, guys. We're gonna have to obviously put some weight on her. So what we're doing right now is while I'm outside with her, the puppies are getting attended to. And then we'll get her, we'll get her some breakfast. Good girl. Update. <laughs> so it looks like a chicken nugget. This one's my spirit animal over here. Hey mama, have a good breakfast. So freaking cute, man. So freaking cute. I can't stand it. Um, 
so I had to make a chart. Uh, we have to uh, have to weigh the babies uh, every week, and the mom has to eat like four times a day. Uh, I got to change the bedding every day. Uh, last night I slept on the couch next to the spare bedroom, just in case because they were howling. And every time I went in there, it was just like, "What are we howling about?" I didn't yell at them, but <laughs> they were just like, "Huh." Uh, usually it's because one, one or two of the babies can't get to, to eat. So they start just kind of like how we all are, right? We all get hangry. Uh, same thing with little puppies, uh, until one of them is like done and he's like, all right, bro, you, you can have it. You're next. Um, uh, so kind of going that route, but they're so cute. I can't wait until, uh, they grow up. Uh, again, you guys heard me say this yesterday, but the rescue said that in about a week and a half, they're going to start developing their own personalities. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, now I think I'm going to go get a coffee, not a coffee, a coffee to wake up a little bit because last night was like, ah! and I think that tomorrow, I think tonight is going to be a remix of it. It's going to be step two. And that's okay. That's what I signed up for. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Uh, like, comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, give us a little subscribe. Uh, you never know what the heck you're going to see on here. Maybe stuff in my face. You might see puppies. Who knows? Beepity boop. Uh, also, guys, I have um, two things. Real, two quick things. One, still designing. I have Photoshop literally up on my computer right now, designing stuff. Uh, second is I kind of want to... Someone had mentioned... Someone had mentioned somewhere that I should do a type of video that I get to try your guys' favorite snacks. So basically, the the premise of the video and kind of the the topic is uh, Roadie Foodie Try sub Subscribers' Favorite Snacks. So <clears throat> I really don't know how I'm going to put that together, uh, but I think it'll be kind of fun. That way uh, we can enjoy, uh, I can enjoy some of your guys' favorite snacks, right? Do, um, do a mukbang. I haven't done a mukbang at home yet in a long, long time. So probably about over a month or less than a month, but a while ago. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll start taking notes. I'll ask you guys in the next few videos to comment down below your favorite snacks. So it can be chippy chips. It can be dippy dips. It can be chocolate. It can be your favorite uh, chocolate bar. It can be your favorite soda. It can be basically stuff that I can find at a gas station, uh, that I can find at Walmart, Target, Stop and Shop, Ocean State Job Lot, stuff that I have near me. Or if it's something a little more specific, if it's like an appetizer from a place, or maybe if it's like a little, hey, Loop, I like this from Taco Bell from the dollar menu. Let's do something like that, guys. Okay? Uh, be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao.